Mr. Speaker, I stand at this time, though, to speak to a resolution of the National Assembly of St. Christopher and Nevis, which is dated today, the first day of November 2012, and which has been um, formatted under Section 3 of the Land Acquisition Act, Chapter 10.08 for the acquisition of lands belonging to the Stanford Development Company Limited in the parish of St. Peter in the island of St. Christopher in St. Christopher and Nevis. And for the records, Mr. Speaker, permit me to read into the um, records of this honorable house the resolution in its entirety. Whereas it is enacted by Section 3 of the Land Acquisition Act, Chapter 10.08, that if the Governor General, acting in accordance with the advice of the Cabinet, considers that any land should be acquired for a public purpose, he may, with the approval of the National Assembly, cause a declaration to that effect to be made by the Secretary to the Cabinet in the manner provided by that section. And whereas it is considered by the Governor General acting in accordance with the advice of the Cabinet that certain lands in the parish of St. Peter, more particularly described in the schedule here too, should be acquired for a public purpose, namely for the purposes of commercial and touristic development. Now therefore, it is hereby resolved that the National Assembly signifies its approval of a declaration being made as required by the said Act for the acquisition of those lands being the lands of the Stanford Development Company Limited. And be it further resolved that this resolution shall come into force immediately on the passage thereof. And may I, Mr. Speaker, read into the records of this House the schedule which describes the parcels of land. One, all that lot of lot piece or parcel of land being a dismemberment of Needmas Estate situated in the parish of St. Peter in the island of St. Christopher, bounded and measuring as follows. On or towards the northeast by an, uh, by an unpaved estate road, 37, sorry, 374.76 feet. On or towards the east by the juncture of the unpaved estate road and the island main road, 762.49 feet. 53.84 feet and 60.62 feet. On or towards the south by a roundabout, 42.07 feet and 66.79 feet. On or towards the southwest by a public road, 76.80 feet, 79.50 feet, 78.23 feet and 173.4 feet. On or towards the northwest by the St. Kitts Scenic Railway, 285.21 feet. On or towards the northeast by the St. Kitts Scenic Railway, 197.56 and on feet, that is. And on or towards the northwest by the St. Kitts Scenic Railway, and containing by admeasurement 9.15 acres, all as the same is delineated on the plan of the area drawn by Calvin S. Dale or a license surveyor dated February 20, 2003, and shown on the copy of the Certificate of Title Annex here too. Number two, all that lot or piece of parcel or piece of land situated at Needmas in the parish of St. Peter in the island of St. Christopher, bounded and measuring as follows. Towards the northeast by land of the Stanford Development Company Limited, 173.24 feet and 76.23 feet on or towards the southwest by a public road, 240.74 feet, and on or towards the northwest by the St. Cecilic Railway, need must, 25.50 feet, and containing by ad measurement 0.11 acres, all as the same is delineated on the plan of the area drawn by Calvin S. Dale License surveyor dated the 4th day of November 2003 and shown on the copy of certificate of title annexed here too. May I say further, Mr. Speaker, that the cabinet has met and has given its um, full support for the action 
that is to result from the resolution that is being put before the federal parliament, the National Assembly of St. Christopher and Nevis. May it please you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, allow me to rise to support this motion, a motion which uh, is very, very important and very timely as the government seeks to bring that very important property into a more productive use going forward and acquire um, an asset that will become increasingly valuable over the coming years. Mr. Speaker, the Stanford story, of course, is a very complicated and sad story in some respects. And um, it could take us the rest of the afternoon if we were to speak to the history and to the, the details. The afternoon is over, is it? Not quite. It's only 5.30. Um, Mr. Speaker, uh, just to say very briefly that uh, the, the Stanford agreement that, that goes back to February 28th, 2003, which was an agreement provided for the transfer of that particular land, which the government is now acquiring back, to the Stanford Company, based on an exchange in a promise to, to facilitate Stanford's uh, relocation of a major corporation to St. Kitts, and which did not, in fact, uh, transpire, resulted in the the uh, the agreement being terminated for non-performance. As my colleague Senator spoke earlier about the fact that today is the eighth anniversary of both of us, himself and myself, being uh, sworn in as cabinet ministers for the first time, having been invited into the cabinet by the Right Honourable Prime Minister and his, his colleagues at the time. Um, I am reminded, I am reminded, Mr. Speaker, that it was shortly after I joined this uh, cabinet and had the honour to serve at this level that I was one of those who agitated quite vigorously to bring that uh, agreement uh, to termination because of non-performance. Mr. Speaker, this government is a very patient and a very understanding government. And the government took a great deal of deliberation, a great deal of time, before declaring that agreement null and void. But by doing so, it saved the government from delivering on six acres of land inside of the RLB airport, which today is being developed. Practically the very same piece of land that we took back from the Stanford company back then. You don't hear much about that, Mr. Speaker. You only hear about the land, the, the land that we are now acquiring. You hear about that land and about some uh, alleged very low price that the government had given, had, had sold it for. But the government also took back, or let's put it this way, the government did not give title yeah. to the land inside because we, it, of non-performance. But this is a very important move. It brings, uh, I would say, a conclusion to what was a, a, a failed agreement that started in way back in 2003. And nine years later, it begins a new phase of the development of that particular property. It is a very good property to acquire. It is very valuable to this country. And I think in credit to Mr. Stanford, he, he really produced a, an outstanding, uh, aesthetically pleasing, and uh, significantly valuable uh, building on the site, which as of now, Mr. Speaker, becomes the property of this government. May it please you. The question is that the resolution be approved as read. Those in favor? Aye. Those against? 
The ayes have it. Adjournment. Adjournment.